I knew it was risky. I wanted to continue pursuing aero, so I spent another semester in first year engineering. I really wanted to prove my worth and that I could do the curriculum. I learned so much through persistence and grit. I saw all of my hard work pay off. I grew up in Palmdale, California, a suburb outside of LA most known for its aerospace. My parents had a restaurant in the area, and as a kid, I'd work in it as a waitress, hostess, bus girl, everything you can think of. Um, and at the same time, I would network with all the customers who all happen to work in the aerospace industry. It was at this point that I knew I wanted to pursue aerospace engineering, and prior to even entering college, I knew my dream job was to become a flight test engineer at Boeing. For me, I was primarily only looking at aerospace engineering schools. I think similar to a lot of people, you go on US News and you look up top aerospace engineering colleges, and Purdue was just always a school that I was planning on applying to. My mentality coming in was that I was gonna be fine. Um, I knew I was going to work hard, but I just didn't know at the time the expectations set in place as a student and how hard some of the curriculum was going to be um, and how fast-paced everything was going to be at the same time. It was, it was really difficult being a first-gen student because no one really was there to guide you, um, especially like balancing yourself as a student, knowing how much to focus on your academics versus how much to be a well-rounded student. And in high school, you're told like, oh, you really want to diversify and be involved with as many things as possible. And not knowing like really any upperclassmen to point me in the right direction, like you don't really know like, what club is your club? Like, there are really well-known clubs on campus, but does that mean that's where you're gonna belong and where you're gonna find community and where you're gonna thrive? No. So it took me a while to narrow it down to SWE and PSEF, and I did that by the end of my freshman year because I knew I had to focus on um, just a couple of things at once. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was accepted into Arrow when I first got into Purdue. I didn't know that I was in first year engineering until BGR week, Boiler Gold Rush, which is um, negative one week before you start your classes. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, so now I have to apply into Arrow. I ended with a 2.8 GPA. I lost my presidential scholarship, but I failed to make it into the School of Aero and Astro. It was one of the toughest times of my life because you know, I had worked so hard and had this dream of mine to pursue aerospace engineering and everything was halted. I felt like such a disappointment to myself, but also such a disappointment to my parents. I knew it was risky, but I wanted to continue pursuing aero, so I spent another semester in first year engineering. And I really wanted to prove my worth and that I could do the curriculum. I sought out all of the academic advisors and professors and asked them for advice on changing study habits and just being a better student. I went to every single supplemental instruction and office hour that was offered for my classes um, and fully changed my, my routine and study habits for the better. I dwindled down my club involvement to just uh, Purdue Society of Women Engineers and the Purdue Student Engineering Foundation. That summer, um, I ended up taking summer courses while I was interning at Lockheed Martin in F-35 doing flight test engineering. I ended up getting my GPA back up the end of that summer um, and got my presidential scholarship back. At the end of my first semester, sophomore year, I was able to gain admission into the School of Aero and Astro, and it was one of the best days of my life. I saw all of my hard work pay off. Um, it was so exciting to finally see everything that I had changed in my life for the better um, to get me where I was. And from that point forward, I knew that I wanted to give back to the people that supported me the most. And that was through SWE and through PSEF. Um, through SWE, I got very involved and started going through leadership roles so I could give back to the club. And through PSEF, I was giving tours to prospective students and families. And I was sharing my story of struggling, you know, my freshman and sophomore year and finally being in a good position. Um, I was able to make impact on campus, um, which was such a big goal of mine. My biggest advice for people is to find organizations on campus, one that is more professional where you pursue leadership opportunities in, and the other where you know they're your support group, they're your family, they're your people on campus that you can go to for anything. When I first got into PSEF, I absolutely loved everyone. Um, from the freshmen to the seniors to the alum, everyone was so incredibly supportive in my endeavors. So it was always something that 
you know, was more professional. I saw a lot of the impact that I can make in the org and I wanted to go that direction and do that. I also found amazing life friends through SWE that, you know, to this day, they're like my ride or dies. So it's good to have a balance of both, but those are just both of my outlets that I had on campus. Senior year, I was named a Purdue Engineering Fellow, the highest award given to um, a graduating senior, and I was also named in Aviation Weekly 2020s, the top 20 students in the nation on the course to change the face of the aerospace industry. The most full circle moment for me was I spent five internships really honing my skills and getting as close as I could to my dream job of flight test. Before I graduated, I landed my dream job at Boeing, and then I was going to be a flight test engineer. So by the time I graduated, I moved out to Seattle and pursued that job, and it was the most amazing time of my life from doing crazy test flights, doing zero G to brakes testing and crazy bank, bank angle turns um, in these remote places in the country. It was one of the best times of my life. When I look back on my Purdue experience, I know I learned so much through persistence and grit that's made me the engineer that I am today. Um, and a lot of those skills I have Purdue to thank, especially the College of Engineering.